Hey everyone, this is Carrie Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll talk about our our uh, weight loss effort doomed to fail. So if you like the video related to total health, I will like to request you all please subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon, or give thumbs up, so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. Many of us strive to stick to a healthy diet in January while we attempt to shed those extra pounds we gained in December. We'll probably even succeed in reaching a more satisfying weight, but can we keep this up? So a strict calorie counting, giving up alcohol for the whole of January and eating more fruit and vegetable. We put ourselves through this ordeal for the sake of feeling fitter, more attractive and in better health. When we reach our weight goals, so we celebrate our success and mark the date in our calendar. But it is this achievement doomed to being short lived? Researchers from the University of Florida in Gainesville have recently set out to learn just how long we can maintain weight loss for and their findings are not very optimistic. So Catherine Ross, who is an uh, assistant professor at the University of Florida, College of uh, Public Health and Health Professions and her team hypothesized that following conventional assumption, after a person experiences significant weight loss, there is a limbo period of weight loss maintenance before that person start to put on weight gain. So many of us cannot maintain weight loss. Existing studies cited by Ross and colleagues had uh, already shown that individuals who experience significant weight loss tend to put on between one third and one half of the pounds they shed within a year of their initial success. So now the question that the researchers were interested in addressing, however, was how long it looked for people to start regaining weight. Although they first believed in a period of grace in which people maintain their new weight before lap relapsing, the current study proved the researchers wrong. So the team worked with 75 per participants who all completed a 12-week internet-based weight loss program. Through this program, the participant managed to shed 12.7 pounds, which is around 5.7 kilograms or a pound, 0.4 kilograms per week on average. So the following this weight loss achievement, Ross and her colleagues asked the study participants to continue to weigh themselves every day over a period of nine months. They were able to do so from the comfort of their own homes with the help of smart scales, which were capable of relaying the data remotely to research service via wireless or cellular networks. After approximately 222 days from the start of the program, weight regain rate slowed down some more, with participants only putting on about 0.13 pounds, which is 0.6 kilograms each week. So of the initial 75 participants, the researchers based their final analysis on the data sourced from uh, 70 of them. So data from the another, another five participants were disregarded as they were incomplete. Why do we rebound? How can we avoid it? Now the researchers are dedicated to pinpointing what the risky yes period for weight regain are so that they can build strategies for prevention and weight loss maintenance from this study. It is unclear why the participants started to regain uh, weight so soon after the weight loss program. Nevertheless, Ross and her team speculate that their social environment with so many temptation and encouraging people to indulge in helpful eating habit may have something to do with it. We are surrounded by easy opportunities to get high calorie, high fat food, and it is hard for a lot of folks to build activity into their day, she warns. So in other words, once we achieve our weight loss goal, we are satisfied enough with our progress to cave into a same temptation that led to being in unhealthy weight in the first place. She does offer some encouragement, noting that weight regain is not a hard and fast rule. She says that some dieters remain successful and do not put the extra weight back on after the initial weight loss achievement. For those of us interested in keeping up our progress, Ross has a few tips meant to help us stay on track. First, she encouraged folks to weigh themselves daily. This allows you to see how the changes you are making in your eating and activity are impacting your weight, she adds. And she also urged people to look at the trend in their weight maintenance journey and not so much the day-to-day -day variation. So that's all in the weight loss, or you can uh, say the weight loss uh, effort 
So I personally prepared a small presentation for all of you guys that uh, will be shared in the description box below. You can check it out from there. And I'm damn sure that will be going to give you a result 100% as per me. So please do look forward to that. And one thing more before signing off, I would like to request you all, please do like, share, subscribe this video with the loved ones so that they can also gain the knowledge about this. So that's all. I'll definitely meet you in the next video with my other content. Till then, God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.